accessing your Digication ePortfolio. Before we begin, make sure you have already set up your BMCC portal. This is the username and password you use to enter campus computers, use campus Wi-Fi, and access your student email. Once that is set up, we can navigate to the Digication website. You will type in bmcc-cuny.digication.com. Once you are here, we're going to click on Login towards the top right. Again, this is the information you're going to use for your student BMCC portal. The first time you log in, you'll be prompted to agree to the Terms of Services. Click the I Accept the Digication Terms and Conditions option, and then click the I Agree button. Once logged in, you will be in the workspace, otherwise known as the home page. You will see the My ePortfolios tab. On the right side of the page, you will see Create. Let's create one. Once you click on Create, you will notice a little Create ePortfolio video introducing you to Digication. Watch the video, but we will skip for now. Here you will be asked to fill out the Create an ePortfolio section, ePortfolio title and web address. For the title, please create a title as suggested by your program, your group, or your instructor. The web address will be automatically generated for you. For example, in the Choose a Template section, you will select the general template for your program or group. In the Choose a Theme section, click the link for Use Selected Templates theme. Next, in the Permission section, you will, be, you will decide who will be able to view your ePortfolio. Choose Private Within CUNY, Borough Manhattan Community College to start. Next, in the Tagging section, you can choose Allow Tags by All Editors. In the Comments section, you can leave the default registered users and do not show comments until they have been approved. And lastly, once you have finished with these settings, click on Create New ePortfolio to start editing your ePortfolio. If you have comments or questions, please locate our website on the BMCC main homepage, eLearning on the right side, and you click on Digication on the left side. This will show you resources, where to sign in, and some tips for faculty and students. You can also contact us at te Technical Support for more information.